It's nice to see you again. Hope you're doing great. As always, I'm doing fine. I'm just sipping on some EAAs pre-workout. And alongside that, my favorite double espresso, uh, how I'm gonna structure this week, the last week before the marathon, um, in terms of nutrition. Because I've been burning about, you know, prior to um, this week, the last week, when I went to the gym, did my endurance work on the bike or running, I burnt about three to 4,000 calories, depending on, you know, the intensity and the duration of the workouts. And for this week, as I'm probably going to, you know, only go to the gym, I'm burning around yesterday, like two and a half thousand to 3,000 calories. So I'm still aiming at eating, you know, above that 3,000 calories, 3,200, 3, 4, somewhere around that. My protein is always rather high. So that's around 190 to 200, somewhere around there. I go a bit over the top because I'm not that heavy, but I just want to make sure I've got sufficient, you know, uh, nutrients, especially protein to build up that those muscles and everything. So um, that's my proteins. And then my fats are rather high, but my body is used to it. I eat a lot of um, avocado every day, eggs as well with, I don't, you know, separate the egg whites and the, the yolk. I just eat the whole eggs. So that's large part and a lot of peanut butter. I don't want to disclose the amount that I eat on a daily basis because that's like, that's crazy if you hear it. But yeah, so my fat is around 120 to 130 um, gram, but it's all, you know, healthy fats. Peanut butter is all organic. Uh, so my body's used to that and uh, can use it as, as energy source. And carbs, I fill everything up with carbs, 300 to 350 grams. So that's around there. Then we were at three to, you know, three and a half thousand calories, depending on yeah, the day and what my activity is actually like. So that's that. We'll see uh, how this is going to play out. I uh, feel good. My legs are recovering. I'm going to hit a back workout now. And yeah, let's see what the day brings. So catch you in the workout. back home got some food cooking up in the background um, post-workout meal some rice um, with cauliflower some peas carrots some good greens and uh, some eggs so that's my post-workout meal but that's not the topic the topic is the gym session was perfect <laughs> no it was a great session uh, great intensity and if you're ever struggling with not really feeling your back in your back workouts in your pull workouts um, I've had issues with that for a long time where I just was using way too much weight and uh, just yanking the the weight back with momentum so as you can see in the in the sets that I do, I try to really focus on the on the negatives, going very slow and utilizing the muscle. Because what we want to do, obviously, if you're bodybuilding, if you want to build muscle, you want to utilize that muscle. And uh, how do we utilize it? Well, yeah, obviously, you want to feel it and only just use that muscle to, you know, work the weight and uh, do the work. So I slowed down the movements and uh, I can really feel my back differently. And uh, yeah, it just, it's just so much more satisfying 
when you can finally feel your lats to you know really contract and also stretch in the negative part so session was really great if you want to you know implement my sets feel free to or my exercises feel free feel free to try them out and the biggest one is the uh, the pull up in the beginning i'd really suggest that because once you've <laughs> done it correctly you know with controlling your body weight uh, the exercise becomes way different it's a different story because i obviously i'd be able to pull myself up there with momentum with you know swinging my legs up and uh, doing the crossfit style <laughs> pull up but that's not my aim uh, i don't well obviously yeah everybody to their own everybody can train as they want but i'm in there to build the muscle give it a try and you'll see you'll manage to get like half the reps as you'd normally get when when you yeah slow everything down and focus on that lat and that back to control the movement and not anything else so that's the workout we're done i have to force myself to not move today let my legs chill and uh, we'll go for a run tomorrow hopefully pretty sure 100 percent certainty <laughs> catch you later <laughs> king in the castle king in the castle enjoying the sounds the birds the fresh air the wind <laughs> The weather on Sunday is not looking great. Five degrees, cold, possibility of rain, even possibility of snow. I'm going to be wear wearing the vest, long pants, leggings, my trusty leggings, because my thighs are too big and I start chafing in between my legs. So want to avoid that so I'm gonna rub some Vaseline <laughs> between my legs as well as um, put on the leggings because those help with the friction or they've you know held up quite good for for my training runs up until now I didn't have any problems so that's good that's it for today so it's Tuesday Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five days out. It's getting serious. Love you guys.